Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last we left off, we were about to have a word with an Asari. This Asari, over here. You're sure gateway weapons and armor? Can I help you with something? Yeah, Conrad Werner had a word with you. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Yeah, you sound totally honest, and because you're so honest, I'm gonna be just as honest with you. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. I'm sure that will go just fantastically for her, don't you think? Alright, well, we did manage to get a bit of a discount at her store. But I don't think I need any of that just yet. But we really should go find out what has happened with uh, Conrad. Hey, friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. So more running back and forth across Ilium. Isn't that great? And overlapping little bits of conversation. But yes, uh, should be interesting to see how this turns out, what with her having absolutely no prior reason to actually go in there and demand the deed to the bar. And mind you, this was the Paragon choice. That's right. The Paragon thing to do is to lie. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. Lots of little looping conversations all over the place. Right. Boy, she sure moves fast, though. Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. <laughs> I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. Yeah. Oh well, Conrad. Good job. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. Oh, God. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. <laughs> you did a great job, Conrad. Now please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. And see, that's kind of the nice way to resolve it. You can also basically go the renegade route and do the same sort of thing that supposedly you did in the first game, especially if you were renegade with him then, and put a gun in his face again. But, I can't help it. I'm, I'm just a bit of a softy. So, how about you? How are you doing now that he's gone? Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. <laughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Matriarch? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Huh. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. Thank you for sharing that piece of information with a virtual stranger. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. 
I was a girl uh -huh. who'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping arachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I think I can see the Krogan influence. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, <clears throat> didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was ah. a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. <laughs> Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. The quad. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. Huh. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. <laughs> Your figure's gotten matriarchal. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. I really like her. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? Sure. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just <laughs> don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. E yeah. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. That's, uh, good to know. And especially ironic given my current company. Uh, mystery drink. Um, let's go with a shot of liquor. Yeah. Um,. Well, that was... That was interesting. You okay there, Shepard? That was a great angle. Thank you. That was entirely necessary. I'm gonna leave this place. Oh, I wonder. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the... Uh, Turian and Quarian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. Um. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh yeah, standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me human, private conversation. Ugh. A little space please. Um. <laughs> Wow. Okay, um, so even more reason to not um, go to that bar for a while. So we have some other stuff that we have to take care of while we're here on Ilium. And uh, that's uh, not... 
How's it going, Liara? Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? Ah, never mind. I'll talk to you later, Liara. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? She stands up and walks away. I'll talk to you later. But, Shepard, I thought you wanted to talk. Nope. Just wanted to taunt you. Do you have anything flashier? What? Door open, thank you. Whew. That's the fun thing about not having instant transport from where you need to go. So, we're here to recruit some people. And thus far, I have done very little to actually do this. But there's this woman here, Serena. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. You keep him yeah, over I here? I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Huh. Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. I'm not here to... When he contacted Wait, me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Wait, what? If you work there, you Whoa. must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Huh. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. Well. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Hmm. It doesn't sound like Nasana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. So... Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Well, I think I'm pretty well ready to go. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. So this is a fun mission. And so he wasn't hired for this. He's just doing this of his own accord. Huh. It sure gave an odd reason. Well, all right. May as well stick with the team I've been using so far. Yeah. And at the very least, it looks like we're getting a little bit of help, especially in someone who's actually worked in that office before. That should actually help quite a, quite a. The towers are heavily deal. guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. <clears throat> and 
really, if that's what we can do, all the better. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Any last-minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps. Just focus on anything moving. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Why do we never take nice trips in these little cars? They've always got to be going into little mercenary nests and killing people upon arrival, and it can never be simple, can it? Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. She seems genuinely pleased that we're willing to do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, I wonder if this will work. Hey. Oh, it's dead. Impact. Eh. Get to cover. Excuse me. No, I will not excuse you. How dare you? Eris, what you doing all the way back here? Oh wait, you're the sniper. So, that actually makes sense. Good job, then. Being a sniper, I mean. Okay, so I didn't miss anything over that way. Well, that didn't look like... Oh, man. Alright, so which way are we going here? We're going that way? So I'm gonna just quick poke over this way. And let's hack this. Okay. There we go. Uh, I would like the one that I need, please. There we are. And that one. Yay! We managed to steal money cause we're the good guys. You know, I keep making that excuse. But I don't think anyone really believes me anymore, do you? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're still the good guys. Yeah, I know there's a Solarian worker, but is there loot? <clears throat> right. <sighs> He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Oh, you poor thing. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I'm here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. You poor Take thing. Take time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I haven't mentioned that I actually really do love the Renegade and Paragon interrupts in this game. They give us the chance to do the right thing far more often. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. 
As always. I mean, you can't advance further in levels without it to get it without there being a difficulty spike. Why wouldn't Asana kill her own workers? So we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Ooh, that's an unfortunate mental image. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Take care of yourself, and don't get yourself hurt Let's any further. Let's get moving. Yeah. Um, and on that note, uh, we're out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. But I hope to see you next time where we take the elevator up. Hope to see you then!